All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this Western Digital My Book Essential, all right? So this drive is no longer functioning. Uh, the customer told me it was in a box that tipped over and then it stopped working, even though it didn't really tip that far. So hopefully they're lucky and it was just a coincidence and it's actually this outer casing, um, the enclosure that's having problems. Sometimes what happens is this, uh, the board that controls this goes bad. So I'm actually going to pop the drive out and then we're going to attempt to put it into another enclosure and see if we can get it to read. All right, these drives, let me see, these tend to be a little tricky to get out. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see if I can pop this out without breaking any clips, but usually the clips are going to end up snapping. All right, so we're going to go over like this and pop this out as you can see. Okay, we're going to continue working our way around. And we'll see what we can do. We're going to now go over to the top here, kind of get in there. All right. We have to use a very thin pry tool to do this. All right. And this doesn't seem to want to pop out. So I think we're going to end up, oh, there we go. It's popping up. Okay. But I think we are, oops, popping the clips out. We'll see if they remain intact. I think they're going to be completely destroyed, but <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right. Sometimes once I get it open, I can see how the clips were designed, and then I can um, give you tips on how if you're opening this, you can open it without um, causing damage to the clips in the future. But uh, these things usually aren't really designed to be popped open, so most likely we're going to end up just destroying it. But let's go ahead and work our way in. Okay, all right, hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing. It is pretty tricky to get this stuff open, usually. All right, looks like it's popping out. There we go, come on. All right, and I think I'm gonna actually peel off this clear stuff because it's getting in my way, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. All right, most of it's coming out. And usually once you get it all out, you can kind of slide it back this way, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, get it in there. This thing requires like a lot of wiggling around to try and figure out where the clips are. Okay. And once you kind of get it open and get it going, if you want, you can put something in there so it doesn't pop back together. But, uh... Okay, you can see we're getting this apart slowly, slowly but surely. All right, here, broken plastic, so definitely that clip is broken. All right, let's see if we can pop this out. Wow, that's stuck in there real good. All right, let's go ahead and continue prying and popping this side. Come on, let go. There we go. Now we got all of that out. You can see we can kind of slide it this way. All right, and there we go. Come on, let go. There we go. All right, so here you can see, so these clips actually slide in. All right, oh, actually, these clips are broken now. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I don't know how you would remove these without breaking these clips. Um, but yeah, this one clip slides in, and then these ones also slide in. So I don't know how you would do it without kind of snapping these clips off, but it is what it is. We got to see if the hard drive is repairable. So we got the hard drive. It looks like that. Let's see how is this held in place. There's this board here, um, and it looks like they screwed that onto it. I don't think we can kind of just plop it out. Can we? I don't think so. So, okay, it looks like it can slide this side upwards, but I don't know about the rest. This looks like it's locked in. Give me a second, I have another customer here. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and see. How are we gonna pop this thing out? I mean, are there? there's no screws other than this one, but taking that out, it's not gonna take this out, so. We need to slide it up or down, one of the, one or the other, and 
Okay, I guess I can slide it up this way, it looks like, kind of. No, that won't work. So this one has the free spot to come out, but this has these blocking the way. So, <laughs> this is so tricky. Okay, I'm going to push it. We have to get it at a weird angle. And once we get one of them out, I think we can get all the rest out. And I don't know if this thing comes off or not. But this is for the um, the light. Yeah, I don't know how you pull that thing out. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll... I think it's going to snap. It's going to snap. Okay. We're getting this side out. Get this rubber piece off. And once we get this rubber piece off, we should be able to get the rest out pretty easily. But it's being tough. So, I don't know. How would you... Okay. Oh, slide this up. Okay, slide these out. And then we can slide this down more. I don't know what this is caught on. This one is caught on a plastic piece here, so I can't just pull that one down. Oh yeah, I can. Kind of. Okay, there we go. We can get this rubber piece off. Alright, and now we can hopefully lift this enough. All right, rotating this, and now we can get this out. There we go. All right, I don't know if there's a special way to get this out, but this is working. <laughs> okay, got that. There's one screw here and one screw here. So we're gonna be using a uh, PH2 or JS2. All right, and we're gonna get those two screws out. One screw here, okay. Oops, sorry, we're going out of view. Got this one screw here. We'll take that out. Okay, and then we gotta rotate this, and get over to this side, and then we'll get this screw on the side out here. Okay, now that we got both those screws out, we should be able to take this out. You can take this metal piece out, and then we're gonna wiggle this off just like that and now the hard drive should be free-ish there we go we got that out oh you can actually just pull the plastic out from that little rubber piece <laughs> okay and there we go now we can get this hard drive out be careful not to touch the board too much all right and here we go we got the hard drive out of here so i'm gonna plug this in with a um uh, SATA USB adapter um, and I'm gonna test this drive we'll see if this works if it doesn't work then the drive is dead if it does work then this piece is dead and we can buy a 3.5 inch SATA enclosure to put this in here all right so I'll see you guys in a bit all right I'm back um, let's see if we can put this thing back together so um, first thing let's get this board back on so when I tested it it's still having issues so yeah, anyways, I don't know how we're going to get this thing back together, but we'll try. Okay, um, I don't know. We're going to get this back in. Have to get this plastic thing back in that little hole. Okay, and then I don't know how we're going to get all those rubber pieces in. Mm, is there a specific order? I should have like put them in some specific order so I know which one goes in what order. Because now I don't know. We're going to get this thing back in. Okay, well, get this first. Probably doing this, this in the wrong order, but we'll see what happens. All right, we'll get this screw back. We'll get that screw in. <clears throat> screw goes in the right way is it crooked let me loosen this one up first is it lined up right okay there we go turn that into place good turn that into place all right so 
Um, how did these have to go? So this can go in here because it's going to have to drop down there. Actually, can I drop all of these down from the top or is that not going to work? Let's see. This one. Okay. thing back in and they make this one like tricky there has to be some weird trick that I'm missing here I don't know <laughs> what am I missing here there it's not gonna go in is it okay that works can I get this side ow ow how do I get this in? Why is it not? Oh, there we go. Okay. But how do I get the last ones? So these have to go from the bottom, I guess. So these, we got to put this in. Like that. And I'm guessing like this. Is that right? Then we somehow got to get these in. Like that. Oops, sorry. This is hard to keep in camera. Okay, then we'll push these in. Oh, that's working. All right, so we can push those up and push these down. Make sure that goes into the slot. Uh-oh. Make sure that goes into the slot. There we go. All right, and I think this isn't lined up right. How do I fix this? Get in, get in there. Get in there. I can't, how do I rotate this rubber piece? For the most part it's in this isn't i don't think this is lined up right okay there we go there we go there we go all right i think that's actually correct all right everything is lined up button is clicky <clears throat> let's go ahead and put this back in Just line it all up and slide it in, all right? Okay, I think that's correct. Line it all up and slide it in. Uh-oh, this one didn't slide in. So we gotta pull that back out. There we go. Slide it in. And... And, oh, why'd this come out? Stay in there. Something's not lining up right over here. Get back in your slot. <laughs> it's mostly in. I don't know what's going on with this one. It popped itself back out, so I guess we have to try and slide this back out. But it doesn't want to come back out. There we go. Stay lined up. What's going on here? There we go. And slide that back in while you hold those in place. Perfect. All right. And there we go. We got it all back together. And that's pretty much it. I don't know how helpful or useful this will be for anyone. Um, but hopefully someone will benefit. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. Let's drop this thing. Bye.